Roxbury, founded in 1630, was once an independent town connected to Boston by the Boston Neck, a narrow strip of land which is today Washington Street. In 1868, Roxbury became part of Boston and now stands at its very center. Roxbury is unique for its hilly vistas, pudding stone outcroppings, and of course, layers of history and culture 400 years deep. Home to patriots and politicians, artists and musicians, athletes and activists, and immigrants from around the world, Roxbury is a model of America both as a melting pot and as a stratified society. Abolitionist William Lord Garrison, jazz drummer Roy Haynes, apostle to the Indians John Eliot, black nationalist Malcolm X, painter Alan Rohan Kreit, visionary artistic and civic leaders Elma Lewis and Melnia Cass, and popular singers like the New Edition and many other ordinary and extraordinary folk claim Roxbury as home. Through immigration and exodus, transition and controversy, luck and fate, Roxbury has always been a special place to those who live there. A changed and changing community, residents today embrace the history, diversity, and spirit of Roxbury. We had trolleys going up and down Humboldt Avenue. In fact, we had trolleys with the right. wire, the cables. Then we had something called trackless trolleys. Then they came up with something called buses. Yeah. <laughs> but we would take the bus right there to Franklin Park. And, you know, they use the word diversity now. But we had everyone in the block, every dad, every father owned something. And we had little stores as well as the resident. Roxbury was a place that had a lot of vibrant businesses. People from all over the country would come to Boston, but they also would come to Roxbury, particularly because it's historical background. And, and it was a um, predominantly Jewish neighborhood, with, mixed with quite a few blacks, but there were kids from Germany. There was a lady that was like an Eskimo lady. That we had John the Shoemaker, we, he was Italian. Molly Rogoff was like one of my little best friends. You know, we just had a little, a real melting pot. When I was still a student at Brown and Providence, I came to get my hair cut once on Humboldt Avenue at Bull Bromel Nubian Tonsorial Emporium. It was enough to be a, an attraction to you just to find this uh, English character reinvented as a Nubian uh, for the title of a barber shop. You went to Monroe Park. If you were really ambitious, you would walk up to Franklin Park and just walk around through the zoo and go to the zoo. One thing I like about Roxbury is the people in Roxbury. I love the people in Roxbury. I love the fact that wherever I go, I feel like I'm welcome. I remember the Masons Parade. In, in well, for me, well, you did they have the school boys parade? The now, school there was boys parade too. in the world. Like they, they remember that. <laughs> the Masons, the Masons, and, 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 and the Shriners Parade. Shriners Parade. Shriners yeah, the Shriners, Shriners, Shriners Parade. parade. And the school See, that, the boys building was right there at the corner of Canard Street. And, and, and right, I Christmas. remember that. I remember us just standing there, and I, I remember it. Every groups would come in from all over the country, and each of them had their own little group, and they'd get to a certain point, and they'd do their own little steps and you hear people clapping and yeah. you know I was so young then I was looking up and I said oh what a wonderful parade that was a big that's the one that um, Alan Craig put in the parade on Hammond Street one of his f famous paintings well what I see in Roxbury is people taking what they have and making something wonderful out of it I live in this um, artist residence right now oh, I've got poets living there and there's a couple of musicians that live there so it's like a it's like a little jewel it's a gem it's really nice this used to be a hub for all black folks right here all right Dollar station gonna forever be here that's a landmark for black folks ultimately the community is really really good it's a lot of resources um, a lot of schools for whether they're in elementary school middle school and colleges that are in the area um, the parks, there's a lot of really good parks. You got Franklin Park Zoo and you have the big fields and um, just activity for kids. I'm really into um, community-based organizations and community activities for the kids. There's a lot of activities for the kids. And I just love the people. I love the people in Roxbury. 
78 Atherton Street up at AMOP, the African American Mass Artists and Residency Program. Our galleries are open all the time, so you can see artwork there. Every month, I meet someone who's like, oh, you know my brother XYZ, or you know my mother, and you get grandparents in the community, you get great grandparents in the community, and I love that. I think one of our rich resources in Roxbury is our people. What I love about Roxbury is, in spite of all that it, it has been through, the solidarity, and what I love about it now is there's a relaunching, there's a coming back. There's a mix of the built environment, of the natural environment, and of the habitation of people of great diversity and affection. The people of Roxbury, there are lots of interesting people in Roxbury, people who do many, many different things. I love Roxbury's energy, ongoing energy. Rich in history, Roxbury residents, both past and present, are proud to call it home.